In this video, we'll be looking for logical functions. I'll show you the first one, that is the if function. Let's see that one by one. Now, if you remember in the previous video, I've shown you how to compare two numbers using the logical operators or you can say comparative operators. I have two numbers given here as 25 and 45. Now, if I compare these two numbers, I'll get the answer in true and false if I just use the operators. So you see here, if I want the answer as true and false, what is the formula? I'll be using it. The formula will be equal to the first cell that is E2 that is greater than second cell. So I'll get the answer in the true and false option. So when once I press enter, you see the answer I've got as false. Similarly, if I change the number, if I say as 45 to let's say 25 changes to 85, enter, it shows as true. But what if I want the answer in the number as 1 and 0, how do I get it? So I'll use the same operator, the logical test inside the if function. So we are in the topic of if function, if you see here, if sheet. So what is the method I'll get the answer as 1 and 0? I do not want as true and false. You see here, equal to if. Now the first parameter it says as logical test. If you remember, logical test is equal to first cell greater than second cell, less than, equal to, not equal to. All this becomes a logical test. I'll use any one of them. So that is a logical test. So I'll type here equal to cell number E2 greater than cell number F2 and I'll put a comma. So once I put a comma, that, that will help me to make a formula. So you can see here that is saying as value if true. It is in the square brackets. Now what is the value if I want it is a true? I want the value that is as 1 if it is true and uh, comma. I want the value as 1 if it is true and 0 if it is false. So why not I'll just type here 1 that is true comma and what is the value I want as false I'll type here 0 and I'll close the bracket. So if this condition is satisfied it will go to the first parameter that is the 1. If it is false it will go to 0. Now let's see I'm just trying to calculate E2 is greater than F2. The cell number 85 is greater than 45 the answer is correct that is true. So I'll get the number as 1. So once I press enter you see I've got the answer as 1. Now, similarly, if I do not want, a, want the answer as 1 and 0, I want the answer as pass and fail, what, what should I do, go for? I can use this method, the same function, equal to if, I'll go for this E2 greater than E2 greater than F2, and now I want the answer as pass and fail. So in double quotes, I'll type as pass, comma. Why I have used double quotes? In previous formula, I have not used double quotes. The reason is, if you want to display the answer as a number, it should be without double quotes. But if you want the answer as a text, it should be in double quotes. So you see here, in double quotes, I've written the pass, comma. If I want the answer as fail, I'll put double quotes, fail. And I'll close the bracket. So same way, if this answer is true, I'll get in double quotes that is pass. Sorry, without double quotes, I'll get it. And second one, if it is fail, I'll get the answer as fail. So once I press enter, you can see, once I press enter, I'll get the answer as pass. So this was a text, so I've got on the left hand side. This was a number, so on the right hand side. And if you see, that was a Boolean expression in between. Next one is, if I want the answer not as pass and fail, but if I want the answer in capital pass and capital fail, how do I go for it? If you remember, we have gone for the text functions. Text functions, I'll use the uh, function as upper case. So I'll type here a function here as equal to if and cell number E2 greater than cell number F2, comma. Now, I want the answer as pass. So what I'll do is, I'll type here as, I'll pick up the cell number that is H1 that is written as pass but I want in the upper case. So I'll use function as upper within the if function, upper of this H1 comma, otherwise I want upper of H2 and I'll close the bracket. So let's try to understand what will happen is, if this condition is satisfied, that is E2 greater than F2, which is absolutely, which will satisfy because 85 is greater than 45, the answer will go to this first place. So what they want is, they want the answer as upper of cell number H1. Now H1 is pass, which is in a proper case, the upper will become as capital P A W S. So I'll be getting the answer as pass. Similarly, if it, it fails, it will go for the H2 cell number. Now let's see when I press enter. You see, I have used nested functions, that is the text function within the if function, and I've got the answer as pass. Similarly, if I want the answer as yes and no, just one more example, that is equal to if cell number E2, comma E2 greater than F2, comma, what is the value I want if it is pass? So I'll type as double quotes yes, comma, double quotes no, and I'll close the bracket. So once I press enter, I'll get the answer as yes, that is correct. 
Now that was using the text which I've got number and text and the boolean expression. What if I want the answer as the addition of two different cells? How can I go for it? If the answer is correct, I want addition of two cells that is E2 and F2. If the answer is wrong, I want the answer as zero. So I'll use here a function equal to if cell number greater than F2 comma. What is the answer I want? That is I want sum of these two numbers. It's very easy. E2 plus F2 comma e2 plus f2 comma 0. So if this is correct the logical test I will get the sum of two numbers two cells e2 plus f2 and the third one if not I will get the answer 0. So right now obviously e2 is greater than f2 so I will get the answer as sum of these numbers. Let us try to calculate 85 plus 45 around 130 I will press answer. So I have got the answer as 130. Now a bit more advanced in this what if I want if the condition is satisfied, I want today's date and if not, I want 10 days from today's date. So let's see how we can go for it. So I'll use two functions that is today functions inside this if function. So equal to if open the bracket and I'll use this equal to e2 greater than f2 comma. If it is correct, I want today's function else I want today plus 10. So today's date on my calendar, it's, it's, it's 15th of July. And after 10 days, it would be let's say 25th of July. So once I press enter, I'm expecting the answer as 15th of July. Once I press enter, I've got some other numbers, right? So it is not the mistake, but only the thing is the answer is correct. The formatting is incorrect. How do I change the format is I'll just keep my cursor here. I'll go to the home tab. And if you see on this place, in this drop down, yeah. I've got it in this drop down if you see I'll select this short date so once I click on this short date you see answer I've got as 15th of July 2016 so this way you can use the if function at multiple places right you can use a number text boolean expression and you can use a date function uh, any any function in this so for your understanding purpose I've written here what is the method what is the function you can use for if so I hope you understood about the function that's all for this video